Good afternoon. My name is Allison Hostetler, and I'm the Director of Food Professional Education here at SAE International. I'm pleased to be with you today to present the AeroConnect Challenge 2020 Awards. As you know, for 2020, we've had to pivot a little bit in our season due to COVID-19. SA International has done a wonderful job, and I want to commend the entire Food Design Series staff for pivoting in such a quick time frame to be able to deliver educational content and programming in what would have been a lost year for us. We are very fortunate, and we thank all of our sponsors, students, and participants who have stuck with us, and we look forward to continue to bring you the best in educational excellence in design and engineering programs. For today, we will be presenting the AeroConnect Challenge 2020 Awards. We'll be having an overview of the 2020 mission and then presenting awards for the technical design report, design review presentation, the showcase, and then overall 2020 winners, as well as our 2020 challenge information. The AeroConnect Challenge is our first competition in our SAE Emerging Technology Series. This is a sister brand to our collegiate design series, where most of you are familiar with our Formula Baja, Aero Design, Clean Snowmobile, and Super Mileage Challenges. The Emerging Technology Series is a little bit different and will focus on trending issues in the mobility industry. We will have interdisciplinary engineers and teams that will collaborate design to and defend conceptual designs to industry professionals. We are very proud of our SAE American Challenge 2020 and this inaugural student competition in our Emerging Technology Series. We look forward in 2021 to expanding this portfolio and adding new programs to our portfolio for the emerging technologies as well. Our AeroConnect Challenge 2020 mission. When we looked at where we were headed, we, we held in conjunction with Aerotech 2020, which held to take place in Pasadena, California. As you know, wildfires were a very big issue in 2020. Our mission this year for the AeroConnect Challenge was wildfires were expected to once again impact California in 2020, and local authorities were looking for really rapidly deploying and maybe's unmanned aerial vehicle systems to support the fire mission. Our inaugural challenge in the first year of 2020 mission had fire detection, imaging, and tracking, fire suppression, aircraft routing, persistent communications here. Each team was to defend and present their conceptual design of their UAV and how their system would function. One of the pieces that the challengers put together were technical design reports. It's now my pleasure to present to you the technical design report section. The objective of the technical design report was to convey how each team's UAV system is the most suited to accomplish the intended mission based on the rules. The technical design report should explain the team's thought process and the engineering philosophy that drove them to their conclusions. It also was to contain a brief description of the UAV system with a review of the team's, team's design objectives, system concepts, and a discussion of important design features. We were very fortunate this year to have a lot of judges that were able to provide feedback and had a great time judging these reports. In third place, we would like to congratulate for the technical design report the University of British Columbia, Open Athens. Third place, Technical Design Report. In second place, Cooper Union for the 2020 Technical Design Report. And in first place, AeroConnect Challenge 2020 Technical Design Report, the University of Calgary. Congratulations to our three universities for their participation and their excellence in the Technical Design Report portion of our competition. competition was for the teams to present their preliminary design review in a presentation. Originally, this was scheduled to be held on the Aerotech Convention show floor with a panel of judges. Luckily, we have a wonderful group of dedicated judges that were able to make time throughout the, the spring to be available and to do WebExes with each of our teams. The objective of our preliminary design review is to evaluate the engineering efforts that went into the design of the Unity system and how well the team can communicate their design best achieves the 2020 mission. It is my pleasure to now present the 2020 preliminary design review awards. 
In third place, we congratulate Concordia University for the preliminary design review winner. In second place, Cooper Union 2020 preliminary design review second place winner. And in first place, congratulations to the 2020 preliminary design review at the University of Calgary. We congratulate each of these three universities on their presentation and their commitment to being able to show virtually and pivot in a very unknown year. The 2020 showcase. Part of the competition was to present and have a showcase presence booth on the exhibit floor of the Aerotech 2020 competition. Oh engineering event. Unfortunately, we were unable to host this portion of our competition as the on-site was canceled and the moves virtual did not allow for this. As a result, we would like to congratulate all five teams for the 2020 showcase winners. In addition, all university teams will receive a $350 award check to be part of their competition or their team for the next year. Now our 2020 overall winners. We would like to congratulate all five teams that participated in our inaugural event. We hope to see you all back next year with more teams to participate as we head to Orlando, Florida. It is now my pleasure to present the 2020 overall winners of the AeroConnect Challenge 2020. Congratulations to third place overall winner, University of British Columbia, Okanagan. It is my pleasure to present second place, AeroConnect Challenge 2020 overall, Cooper Union. And in first place, the AeroConnect Challenge 2020 overall winner is the University of Calgary. Please take a moment and congratulate all of these students and universities that have put forth such an effort into this project and program. I would now like to take a minute to present a little bit about the AeroConnect Challenge 2021. 21, 2021 dates will be March 9th through 11th in Orlando, Florida. We will also be hosting 2020's event in conjunction with our SAE Aerotech Conference. And more information can be found at www.sae.org slash attend slash Aerotech. Each participating member will also receive access to the exhibit floor as part of their Aeroconnect Challenge registration. Save the date, and we hope to see you March 9th through 11th, 2021, in London, Florida. The AeroConnect Challenge 2021 registration will open on our SAE.org webpage October 1st, 2020, at 10 a.m. Eastern, and registration will close at November 1st, 2020. We do allow multiple teams from universities, but we'll limit to two. So your university may bring two, two teams per university. Also, I'm proud to, be, to announce that the full 2020 rule set are now posted in the series resources of our SAE AeroConnectChallenge.com page. We hope that you've enjoyed this AeroConnect Challenge 2020 award ceremony, and we hope to see you all back in Orlando in 2021 for a great second year event. Congratulations to all of our winners again. We will be sending award checks out in July to all of the winners of, of each university. Thank you and have a wonderful day.